All right, my name is Jason, and welcome back to Catch Fish My Feelings. I'm out here in PV spearfishing. I'm taking a break. White sea bass season started, but I'm not having any luck at all. And so I'm taking a break from white sea bass hunting, and I'm just gonna go out, target some reef fish. I'm out here with my friends Cynthia and Jose, who actually hiked back up the trail just because um, they forgot something up there. So I'm kind of waiting on them down here. But yeah, we were we got here to our first spot. It was kind of too rough to get in, so we drove around looking at different coves, and we managed to find a spot that's a little that's pretty calm. I think it's protected by the swells, so it's pretty flat and glassy. But yeah, I'm using a 85 centimeter borrowed Cynthia's gun. We're gonna be targeting scallops and um, any you know, any reef fish like opal eyes or sheep heads. And it's because Cynthia's family friends are coming to town from Hong Kong or something like that. And so and they told they told us that for every fish we bring, they give us like five or seven dollars. So we're just gonna try, you know, shoot a lot of like small reef fish. Not like too small, maybe around like eight to twelve inches around that range for them. But yeah, that's the goal. I'm gonna get changed and I'll see you guys right in the water. Got myself some new carbon fiber fins, deep dive XC Venom. It's my first time using carbon fibers. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Kind of worried that I might break these, but you know, I heard they're gonna make a lot of a difference in the water. Shout out to Petros at Spear America and to Cynthia and Jose and Elizabeth at Spear America for helping me out too. Can't wait to try these on. Got these with the uh, Pathos foot pockets. It's the gun I'm using today, a Pathos 85 centimeter sniper. Something small, you know, you don't want anything too big. There's lots of rocks in this area from what I've been told. So you want something that's a little smaller. You know, my rife gun is great for a white sea bass, but it's going to be too big for these reef fishes. And if I shoot, I might get the, uh, the shaft stuck. But yeah, let's get in the water. All right, so we are back in the water. And I totally forgot how nice it is loading a smaller gun. The 110 is you know great and all, but it is a pain to load sometimes. And this 85 centimeter is so easy to load. The area we were diving in was protected by the swells, so it wasn't too bad swimming around, but it was kind of murky. And we just kind of had to make do with it. We dove around maybe 25 to 30 feet and again, our target were small reef fishes like opal eyes, sheep heads, sargos, and half moons. I didn't see a whole bunch of sheep heads, just really small ones, but we ended up harvesting a lot of opal eyes, which was still pretty good. I was just mainly kind of doing Cynthia a favor and trying to get her some fish for her family. And it was just nice again to go out there, practice my hunting skills, and shoot something. You know, the last few dives I've been on were just strictly white sea bass hunting and it gets frustrating sometimes just not looking at anything or like not seeing any fishes and like holding back your shots. It was just kind of like a nice break to just hunt around for smaller fishes, shoot the gun here and there. And unfortunately, I didn't get the best footage during this dive. In the end, I harvested about maybe eight fishes in total and Jose harvested another eight fishes in total. You know, any day in the water is gonna be a good day for me. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.